I come from the net, through systems, peoples, and cities, to this place, Mainframe. My format, Guardian, to mend and defend, to defend my newfound friends, their hopes and dreams, to defend them from their enemies. They say the user lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot! The web is growing out of control and invading other systems. Well, don't believe everything you hear. Uh, what's the web? Would you get him? <laughs> what's the web? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just one more circuit. <laughs> I ate exercise. This is great. A V3. Yeah, it should give you a lot less trouble than your 262. Hey, the 262 is a classic. What? What is it, Bob? I don't know. Eh, I thought you Guardians knew everything. Fong, what's going on? There's a bomb. Hexadecimal has broken into the archives. She has tampered with the system paint program and is currently running from an alias in her lair. She's also destroyed the entire archive security system. You better get down here. It's really bad. What about the guards? The guards appear to have been kidnapped. Kidnapped by Hexadecimal. Ah! Picture, if you will. An artist of great talent, unappreciated by those around her, unnoticed by the critics. What would this artist have to do? What kind of masterpiece would she have to create to get recognition from those around her? Aha! What are you smiling about? I like it. Why, thank you. Ah, here's someone who may appreciate my talents.
You've destroyed my tour. I will get you for this. Oh, but your sector was looking so dreary. I've simply cheered it up a little bit. There's no need to make such a long face about it. Headset. <laughs> Next. Bob, this is random. Mainframe's gone totally haywire. You should see the tour. Just an Anno, Enzo. I've got Fong online. Bob, it's worse than I thought. The damage caused by Hexadecimal's painting will become permanent when the scheduled system backup occurs. Can't you break the link in the archives to stop her? Yes, but first you have to perform an undo command to return things to normal. Great. That means I've got to go to the lair. Precisely, Bob. Once you have undone the paint, I will break the link. But be careful. And remember... Fong? Fong! Remember what? <laughs> <laughs> My dear Fong, now you really are the keeper of the core. <laughs> Fong's out of the picture. Sort of. Who's gonna break the link now? We've got to reach your sister, Enzo. She's our only hope. Glitch. Quick, try a big window. Dot, Dot, can you hear me? Dot! Well, Enzo, it looks like we've got a communications blackout. Our zip boards aren't doing so well either, Bob. Oh, no. My brand new bike! You sure have bad luck with transport. I'm on my own for this one. She eliminated Fong and Megabyte first, then she took out communications and transport. It's almost like she's working to some sort of plan. Hexadecimal? A plan? Dude! Enzo, this is important. It's all up to you. You've got to get to Dot and tell her to break the link to Hex's lair. No problem, Bob. Frisk will help me. Come on, boy. Wait, Enzo. Don't do anything until you get my signal. What's your signal? I don't know yet, but you'll recognize it when you see it. Okay, Bob. You can count on me. And, Bob, be careful. Don't worry, Enzo. I'm sure my good looks and charm will get me through. <laughs> All right, Hexadecimal. Prepare to meet your worst critic. Formal or informal, the plasticity of the work denotes the abstract figurative tension. And, ah, now this next one is an important work, not so much for how it looks, but how it feels. The, the, the torment, the, the, the pain of the artist is in evidence in the juxtaposition of the smooth and the rough textures. This is an excellent example of her brushwork. And, uh, and here, here, we have evidence of her draftsmanship skills. <laughs> and what's that? That, madame, is a guardian. Hey! Do you mind? We are trying to make a documentary. Hexadecimal, the madness and the glory. Oh, I love it. Oh, sorry. Cut! Print that! All right, folks, it's a wrap. Come on, Mike. I've got a plan, and you're it. Sure, you know what we're 
we're going? Frisket? <laughs> There's Doc! Frisket? What happened? Oh, Frisket! Well, sis, here I come. Whoa! She's completely destroyed the security system. Not even Megabyte could have done this. <laughs> Anzo, are you okay? What happened to Frisket? It's a long story. Dot, I've got an important message from Bob. This is bad, really bad. The artist appears to be fixated with his guardian image. What do you mean by that? It's her blue period! <laughs> you get it? <laughs> I wish you'd stop doing that. What? This is obviously an example of the guardian's multiple personalities. Wait a minute. Cool. Come on, Mike. We're ready. Right, Enzo. We've got to find the system paint program quickly and break that link. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're not supposed to break the link until we get Bob's signal. What's his signal? He doesn't know yet, but we'll recognize it when we see it. Oh, great. Come on, John. This way. Enzo, wait. It's dangerous. No way, sis. Just use him like steps. Guarding Hexadecimal's lair? <laughs> Esther, you know what this means, don't you? Yeah. Hex can enlarge as well. Dangerous. Ah, I bet stuff like this doesn't happen to Bob. How 
are we gonna find it in all this chaos? Hang on a sec. I think I can... Control the windows! All right, Enzo! Let's go. Scuzzy, you know the Guardian is mine. <laughs> Why, hello, Bob. Have you come to try and spoil my fun? No, actually, we're here to interview you. We are? <coughs> yes, yes, we are. <laughs> We're here on behalf of Mainframe's local arts program. They're very excited to have such a famous artist living right here in Mainframe. They want us to do a profile on you. Profile on moi? Oh, recognition at last. Well, you'd better come in then, and I'll just go and put on my face. I hope this works. Can you see anything up there? Nope, it's not up here. There it is. I hope Bob's doing better than us. Don't worry, Enzo. Bob wouldn't have gone to meet Hexadecimal without a really good plan. That's your whole plan? Yep. And neither of us are expected to survive? That's right. Well, that's not much of a plan, is it, Pilgrim? Just do it, Mike. You're on. Tonight on the program, we have the reclusive artist Hexadecimal, a painter known for her startling originality as much as for the huge impact of her work. Hexadecimal has never been interviewed before. We bring you this system-wide exclusive straight from the artist's studio. Lair. What? The artist's lair. Ah, oh, right. Lair. That's good, Mike. Keep going. Now, Hexadecimal, many people have asked, what is your inspiration to... My inspiration, yes. Well, of course, the inspiration for all of my works is myself. I'm very fond of self-portraits. I'd say they're my best pieces. I'm ready for my close-up now, Mr. Guardian. Next week on the program, Al from Al's Diner. Slow food, art form, or indigestion. What?
save Do us. Do it, save us. Save us. Oh, no! Don't! Not now! Please, please, please help us. Glitch! Return! Okay? We're fine, Bob. What about you? Everything's back to normal here. Well, as normal as Lost Angles ever gets. Bob, what happened to Hexadistal? She's in a pretty bad way, Enzo. It'll be a while before she even thinks about painting again. But she's getting help. The best help I could get for her. It's the Love Hospital! And you can receive this wonderful product for only $99.99. What have you done? It's coming this way! It's horrible! Ah!